This is the second time you've thrown this event, and how did it differ from uh, last year? So, last year, I think we were still in the initial days of CPL. We spoke a lot mm -hmm. about why CPL is such a viable addition to search. You know, because search is great because uh, you can get leads, but you pay for clicks, so there's huge wastage. And plus, your audience is limited to the people searching for your product, right? Mm -hmm. And CPL extends the reach of your campaign in a very cost-effective way. So, you know, you might be the right person looking to buy a BMW car, but you're not searching it. But if you see an ad, you might be prompted into action. So I think this year's event different was more different because it focused more on what you do once you get the lead. And I think what's been particularly fortuitous for us as a company is the growth of social. Because now people want to make social work and so they're seeing email as the gateway to social. So we did this Harris Interactive Survey in 2009 that came out uh, which said 96% of people want to receive offers by email, mm -hmm. but only 12% are comfortable sharing the information with advertisers yes. on social networks. So what this clearly says is that email is a great medium to build trust with consumers and use it as a gateway to social. Right? right. And so CPL has become a very effective way to acquire the email address. Mm -hmm. And plus, you get the email address of someone who's really interested. It's kind of so, like the bridge from one, yeah. one to another. So what's been really great for us, and this is quite unexpected, is that, you know, thinking CPL people think direct response. But what we've been really impressed with the innovation in the ad industry, they're prepared to, like Imran was saying, use direct response for branding things. And so I think this year we've seen a lot of a lot of concrete examples at this year's event. So you feel kind of, uh, I don't know, vindicated is the right word, just. Yeah, I think when, we, when the friends Roshan and Jeff started the company, they laid a bet on transparency. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just getting that lead, what they said was doing banner and search is a very roundabout way to get it, right? You're right. Focusing on clicks and impressions. So why not just get the leads and people will figure out ways to engage them. And that's what we've seen happen. And the growth of social has been great for our growth. Uh, oh, I bet. Yeah, so. yeah, it's what, 400 million on Facebook now? So. Yeah. It just went up to 500 million. So, uh, so you answer another one of my questions. Because I was going to say, you guys had a pretty uh, impressive last year. We had a big growth. terrific year. We grew uh, our customer base by nearly 300%. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've grown our revenue three times. Let's attribute that success to, would you say, the, so the rise in social media and uh, use of social media? The, I think from Pontiflex's point of uh, view, the market dynamics, sure, the uh, focus on ROI was very important, the growth of social was very important, mm -hmm. but our thing was, see, like Google didn't invent CPC, they made CPC better. They gave marketers an easy technology, one-stop shop to use. So when we started the company, we laid a bet on us being the enabling technology for CPL. So cleaning it up, making it transparent, providing marketers automated management, real-time optimization. So I think that's been a huge factor. Our technology has been a huge factor in success. Now you said you, uh, part of the growth is uh, your ability to show ROI. So perhaps uh, the not wonderful macroeconomic conditions were actually kind of beneficial. Yeah, actually, uh, no one likes a bad economy. And, uh, but we actually grew a lot during the economy because marketers felt a more urgent need to do returns. You know? And this was a way they were able to show ROI while doing branding campaigns. Mm -hmm. So it worked out. What we do is, the big thing in CPL is the real-time data transfer. So we have that technology. So like Imran was saying that a good company is built on a solid technology, right? So we, right. when we started our company, we built it on the technology to get the data from the publisher side to the advertiser in real time. So the advertiser, as soon as the advertiser signed up for an ad, the ad uh, a consumer signed up for the ad, the advertiser can start talking to them in real time. And that's what we enabled. Very cool. So what's, uh, what's, what's in the pipeline for Pontiflex? What are you guys hoping to uh, improve on, introduce in the near future? Well, I think it's still a large part is market education about CPL. These are very early days for transparent CPL advertising. So just telling people it's real, it's a viable model. And we've had like hundreds of brand advertisers jump on both. But I think the fundamentals are in place. We have a good, solid base of premium publisher inventory. We have a solid technology. And now we can just wait for it to grow.